Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and in this video I'm going to show you how to stay safe while camping. Use peppermint plant or its essential oil to repel spiders. If you crush up its leaves and rub them onto your body, those are essentially the essential oils. I know we use a lot of eucalyptus, but seriously, I use this every summer for preventing bug bites. I highly recommend bringing a bottle of this onto your next camping trip. If you still get bug bites, take used coffee grinds and apply it to the affected area. Tie a cloth or large leaf over it to make it a poultice. Use non-nano zinc oxide sunblock to protect yourself from getting burnt by the sun. If you still get burnt, apply aloe vera gel mixed with lavender essential oil to soothe the skin. Honey also works for burns. It always depends on what you're packing for camp. I do understand that you're not going to haul your whole pharmacy with you, but you might have food stuff that will do an adequate job too. Baking soda mixed with water can be applied to poison ivy and poison oak rashes. The same can be said about used tea leaves. Since I'm more likely to make tea on my camping trips, I would personally leave the baking soda at home. If you accidentally brush up against stinging nettle, there's usually a plant nearby called dock that you can rub onto your skin and relieve the sting. It'll still stay red for a bit, but it's a really neat trick. Stinging nettle is actually edible and super healthy for you in case you run out of food. The prickly parts are all on the top of the leaves, so if you roll it up like a cigar, you can avoid the stings. If you'd rather not, pick dandelions to eat instead. They are the same as, if not better than, store-bought dandelion greens. Choose smaller, younger leaves for less bitterness. Plantain is another weed that's actually a superfood that you can forage for while camping and at home. Since this stuff grows everywhere and there are no poisonous lookalikes, add them to a sandwich or a salad. One of my favorite greens is watercress, which grows wild in Ontario. I like it in soup as I think it's a bit too bitter when raw. Apparently my biggest fear when it comes to camping is running out of food because I'm about to recommend packing a book on edible wild food. The Marcus Rothkranz one is more thorough but Power Plants is way less intimidating. If I've forgotten any camping issues that you faced, please leave a comment for me below and I'll see if I can leave a natural solution for you. Thanks so much for watching.